Countdown to execution. The attorneys of a man on death watch aren't giving up the fight to leave him in prison. Edmund Zargowski's attorneys filed another appeal claiming that choosing how to be put to death is unconstitutional. It's been denied on every level so far. Two nights ahead of a scheduled execution, News Force Carly Gordon talked to the DA who originally prosecuted this case. It is an interview you will only see here on News 4. Carly, three decades now have passed. He's able to remember vivid details about the murder and the manhunt. That's right. Right now, middle Tennesseans are still at odds over whether Edmund Zagorski should live or die. But the man who got that original sentence isn't wavering. These boxes have been sitting here for decades, but District Attorney Ray Whitley remembers the contents quite well. It was a clear case of premeditation. It was 1983. Edmund Zagorski lured two men into the woods of Robertson County, promising to sell them 100 pounds of pot for 25 grand. But that's not what happened. Zagorski shot the men, slit their throats, and left them to die. It was days before police discovered the bodies. That's when the nationwide manhunt for Zagorski began. He was a very violent man who gave no consideration to the value of human life. He would kill anybody that didn't serve his purpose. Zagorski turned up in Ohio, armed and wearing a bulletproof vest. He rammed a police car and shot an officer five times before they managed to cuff him. And when he was arrested, uh, he said, at least I got one of you. Today, Zagorski's attorney is filing appeals trying to delay his execution. She says Edmund Zagorski has spent 34 years in prison without a single infraction. Mr. Zagorski even saved the life of a prison guard. Six of the jurors who sat on his case have all sworn under oath that if they had been given the option of life without parole, that would have been their preference. To me, that uh, carries very little weight. Meanwhile, Whitley stands by his choice to go for the death penalty. He is the one that did it. He's the one that's responsible and it's time for him to bear the consequences. Zagorski is scheduled to be executed here by electric chair on Thursday at 7 p.m. People in Nashville and across the state plan to hold protests that afternoon. Tom, Tracy. Carly, thanks.